Ahoy! Dobrý den! Last week I promised that we are going to start a new series on verb prefixes and this is indeed the first episode on the first prefix that I'm going to talk about and that is U, the prefix U. In my introductory video I mentioned that when you add a prefix to the root, the verb root, it can affect the aspect. It can make the verb perfective. And U is one of those prefixes that we use when we want to simply make the verb perfective, when we speak about a finished action. It's one of the four common prefixes that do that. The other three would be S, Z and Na. So as in skončit, for example, to finish. Z as in zničit, to destroy. Na as in napsat, to write. These examples that I wrote would be perfective and if you take away the prefix, the red part, they would be imperfective and they would mean exactly the same thing, just a finished action. Now, U does exactly the same thing, for example, dělat and udělat. Dělat to do or make and udělat to finish doing or making something. Dělat being the imperfective verb and udělat the perfective, speaking about finished action. These prefixes change the aspect of the verb. The aspect means whether the verb is perfective or imperfective. But as I said, in this episode we are going to focus our attention on the prefix U. And by the way, do you know how to say prefix in Czech? We can say prefix as well, but it's předpona. Předpona is a prefix, any kind of prefix. It could be prefix of an adjective, prefix of a noun. And the verb prefix, verbal prefix is slovesna předpona, in case you wondered. So without further ado, we are going to start. And we are going to start with a little story, a little dialogue. You will watch the story with Czech subtitles and the English translation. And this story contains a couple of examples with verbs with this particular prefix. Upekla jsem banánový chlebíček. Je, a ukrojíš mi kousek? Co bych pro tebe neudělala? Hmm, tady to někdo ukousl. To se asi ulomilo. To ti nikdo neuvěří. No, prostě jsem se neudržela. Myslela jsem, že to neuvidíš. In the story you heard examples of past tense and future tense. And we will look at those verbs in this video. I will refer to that video every time we come across a verb that was in the dialogue. Now let's have a look at the first category. The first category talks about a finished action. That means we have an imperfective verb and we add a prefix U, such as vařit. Vařit is to cook and it's imperfective. I am cooking, vařím, vařila jsem, I was cooking. When I put U, pronounced as U, uvařit, it means it's done. I make the verb perfective. The action is done. I could say in past tense, vařila jsem polévku. I was cooking the soup. This is a circumstance. Uvařila jsem polévku. I cooked the soup. It's done. In this category, the meaning of the verb is not changed. It's still the same action and we just say that it's finished. It's done. I would also like to remind you that when we have imperfective verbs, they can express past tense, present tense and future tense. However, when we have perfective verbs such as these ones, we can only express future tense and past tense. So let's have a look at these. I gave you an example with vařit already. Then we have péct, upéct, to bake. So upéct, to finish baking. In the dialogue I said upekla jsem banánový chlebíček. Upekla jsem. Upekla jsem banánový chlebíček. Pest is irregular in past tense. Pekl jsem, pekla jsem, pekli jsme. We baked. And the same would be with the perfective form as well. We would just add u. Upekl jsem, upekla jsem, upekli jsme. So if I used the imperfective form in past tense, Pekla jsem banánový chlebíček. I will talk about the circumstance. 
Neměla jsem čas, protože jsem pekla. I didn't have time because I was baking. This was long action. I'm just explaining what was going on. When I talk about the finished product, like in this case, the banana bread is ready. Upekla jsem banánový chlebíček. What happens in present tense if I say peču? Well, it's also irregular in present tense. It's fourth group. Yeah, peču, pečeš, peče. The imperfective form is peču, peču chlebíček. I'm baking the banana bread. Or every Sunday, každou neděli peču banánový chlebíček. So this would be present simple and continuous. And when I say upeču, upeču means I will bake. There is no way this will be present tense because it talks about the finished action. The same would be for sheet and ušít. Sheet is to sew with a needle and a thread. Ušít is to finish sewing. Let me give you an example where this verb will be in the infinitive form. For example, a dressmaker might say, Dneska potřebuji ušít sukni. Today I have to sew a skirt. Ušít. I'm talking about what I need to have done. If she says, Dneska potřebuji šít sukni, it doesn't mean that she has to finish it. So remember, these also appear in the infinitive form. Uplest. Plest means to knit. And uplest is to finish knitting. I am not going to talk about these verbs so much because this lesson would be too long. If you want to check their conjugation, feel free to go to Příručka, the internet manual, and there you can check the conjugation of these uh, verbs and how to use them in present, past and future. What I want you to remember is that these verbs on this board in this category have their forms in the imperfective form and when you add a prefix, ooh, they become perfective and their form doesn't change. So we have these pairs. Vařit, uvařit. Péct, upéct. Šít, ušít. Okay, this one is definitely one you know. Dělat, to do and make, as I mentioned. And udělat, to finish making, finish doing. In the dialogue I said, co bych pro tebe neudělala? What wouldn't I do for you? I would do anything for you in this meaning. I want to do something for you and have it done. Co bych pro tebe neudělala? Uklidit. Uklidit means to clean up. Clean up the room, for example. Uklidit pokoj. Potřebuju uklidit pokoj. But. Ale. You have to be careful with this one because actually klidit is not a common verb. We don't use it in this form. Klidit, we say uklízet if you wanted to say the imperfective form. The verb klidit does exist, but it means something else. You can say klidit se to remove yourself, <laughs> to go away. Ukrást, ukrást means to steal. Krást, to be stealing, and ukrást, to finish stealing. Někdo mi ukradl kolo. Somebody stole my bike. Hmm, you might have noticed that I erased one verb. It's because I realized that this verb, unest, which means to kidnap or carry away, will be better in the following category, which we will look at shortly. Uvidět, to see. Vidět, to see, this imperfective, uvidět, to see. When you want to say, we will see, you say, uvidíme. You don't say, budeme vidět, uvidíme. And it's the same way if you want to say, we will see each other on Monday. Uvidíme se v pondělí. Uvidíme se. We will see each other. And in the story we had a sentence. Myslela jsem, že to neuvidíš. Myslela jsem, že to neuvidíš. I thought that you would not see it. That would be the result, that you would not see it. And this takes me to one point that I wanted to tell you. In the dialogue we heard ne, the negation ne, a couple of times. It's also considered a prefix, by the way. It makes a negation. Because you might know that when we negate a verb, we write it at the beginning of it and we don't make any space. We write it all together. So ne is considered a prefix because we write it together with the following stem. And that's why we can have several prefixes, such as here. Neuvidět. Do not see in the future. Zítra tě neuvidím. I won't see you tomorrow. And notice we don't pronounce it as neuvidím, we don't pronounce the diphthong eu, but because these two are prefixes, neu, we have to separate them. So we say neuvidím, eu, neuvidím. Just like in the dialogue. Myslela jsem, že to neuvidíš, neuvidíš. The same is with uslyšet, to hear. 
Volala jsem na něj tak dlouho, až mě konečně uslyšel. I called him or shouted at him long enough until he finally heard me. Uvěřit? To believe. To ti nikdo neuvěří. Nobody will believe you this. We are talking about the result. And again, we have neu, neuvěří. To ti nikdo neuvěří. Ukončit means to finish. Yes, we can say to finish finishing. <laughs> Končit is the imperfective verb and ukončit is to terminate. You might have heard the variant skončit. Skončit also means to finish and it's actually a better equivalent for simply a finished action of the verb finish. Ukončit, as I said, is to terminate and it's a little bit more proper term. And this one, ukončit, has to be followed by an object, direct object, so to terminate something. Ukončit studium, to terminate, to finish studies, usually unsuccessfully. Ukončit hátku, to finish the argument, to stop the argument. Ukončete, prosím, výstup a nástup. Končete, prosím, výstup a nástup. And skončit can both have an object and we can also talk about something finishing on its own. Film skončil. I could say it's something like this. Skončit has a wider meaning, ukončit has a more specific meaning. And remember, ukončit has to have an object. In fact, all these verbs usually require an object. Uvařit polévku, upéct chlebíček, ušít šaty, uplést svetr, ukrást kolo, etc. Uvěřit also has to have an indirect object. So that one is actually more important. Uvěřit někomu, to believe to someone, that's the dative case. To ti nikdo neuvěří, nobody will believe this to you. Let's have a look at the second category, which talks about something moving away or being taken away, or when we talk about a loss of something. Ujet. Ujet means to get away. We talk about a vehicle. So remember the verb yet. Ujet is when we say that this vehicle got away from us. <laughs> For example, I would say ujel mi vlak. I miss the train. The train got away from me. Ujelo mi to. Sometimes we say even, I just missed it, missed the bus, missed the train. Ujelo mi to. Utect means to run away. Utekl z domova. He ran away from home. By the way, we also use this verb uh, when we are cooking something with water and then it spills. So, utekla mi polevka. The soup spilled. The soup ran away from me. <laughs> ran away from the pot. Uletět is the same thing. To fly away. Uletělo mi letadlo. The plane got away, flew away. Pták uletěl. The bird flew away. Now, ubít. Ubít is a little different. It means to decrease in volume. Usually, we use it in the third person and we say how much something was lost. For example, ve studni ubila voda. The water in the well decreased. The water level decreased. There is less water in the well. It can also mean decrease in number. Ubilo středoškoláků. A number of high schoolers dropped. Unest, this is the one that I moved from the first category, to kidnap and to carry away. Because nest, remember, is to carry in hands. So unest is to carry away. Pachatel unesl dva lidi. The perpetrator kidnapped two people. Nechala jsem se unést. Unést se. I got carried away. So we can also add se and it means that I got carried away myself. When I just forget to think about consequences. Unes has another meaning which we will see in another category. So watch out for that. Ulomit. This means to break off. In the dialogue we heard to se asi ulomilo. It broke off by itself. To se asi ulomilo. So imagine a little part. It breaks off. It could be anything like this. Could also. Tohle se může ulomit. This can break off. Ukousnout. To have a bite. To bite off. Tady to někdo ukousl. Somebody bit this off. Hmm. Tady to někdo ukousl. And ukrojit. It means to slice or cut. 
a little part. Ukroíš mi kousek? Would you slice a little part for me? Yeah, a ukroíš mi kousek? Verbs in this category are a little bit different than the previous ones and also when you look at some stems such as here lomit and krojit, these two do not exist by themselves. Well, lomit Yes, but it has a different meaning. I could say lomit rukama. It means this, like to wring hands. I cannot use this for anything that breaks or is breaking. We have a different form for that and that would be lamat, to be breaking. And with ukroit is the same. Kroit doesn't exist. If I wanted to say to cut, to be cutting, I would say krajet. Krajet. The third category talks about something that we can manage. For example, the verb ujít, to be able to walk something. In the previous video, I'll talk about taking a walk and I said ušla jsem celkem 25 km. I walked a total of 25 kilometers. I managed to walk. This actually has two meanings. One is that I am able to walk it. I could say that a three-year-old child can walk three kilometers. On ujde 3 km. He can walk 3 km. Ne ujde 10 km. He won't be able to walk 10. And I can also use it when I just state the number. How much I walked. Ušla jsem 10, ušla jsem 20 km. Uběhnout is exactly the same thing with running. To be able to run. I could say ne uběhnu maraton. I won't be able to run a marathon. Unest. We see this again. Unest means to be able to carry something. Somebody gives you a big box and they ask, Uneseš to? Mm, jo, unesu. <laughs> I will be able to carry. I'll manage. And these three verbs also have a metaphorical meaning. Because yeet is a verb that appears in many other phrases other than walking. But ujít you might know from the phrase ujde to. Somebody asks you, jak se máš? Ujde to? It's okay. It's going. Ta kniha docela ušla. The book was okay. So the meaning would be a little bit different here. Uběhlo to can refer to the time. It ran away so quickly. Actually, we can also say uteklo to from the verb utect to run away. So uteklo to rychle. It passed away so quickly. Uběhlo to rychle. It ran away so quickly. And unest, I could also say that I can bear something. Tohle unesu, nebo tohle neunesu. I will be able to bear this or not bear this. Uplavat, to be able to swim. Uplaveš to, will you be able to swim all this? Udržet, to be able to hold something. For example, to hold a rope. Udržet lano. And when we put se, it means to hold yourself. Udržet se. Udržíš se, will you be able to hold yourself? In the dialogue we heard, no prostě jsem se neudržela. I couldn't contain myself. Prostě jsem se neudržela. I couldn't help myself. So this would be a metaphorical meaning too. We can even say uspívat. To be able to sing something really high tones. And of course we have many other combinations. But these are just a couple of them for you to see how it works. The next category is not so fun, but we have to cover it anyway. So you have a full picture. When something stops existing, fades away. For example, uvadnout. Květina uvadla, the flower faded or withered. Uvadnout means to wither, to fade away when a flower starts getting dry. Umřít is to die. By the way, we don't use umřít anymore. Umřít is a finished action. And to be dying would be umírat. Umírat. Umřel včera v noci. He died last night. And another not a nice verb. Utopit se means to drown. Utopit se is when you drown. Nobody makes you drown. And utopit plus an object is somebody drowns someone. And this one does exist. Topit se. Topí se. He or she is drowning. Květina vadne. The flower is fading away. The next category is very interesting. When we have u and se in all these verbs, it means that we get tired by doing that particular action. I could say, uběhla jsem 20 km a teď jsem se úplně uběhala. I am so tired of running. Upracovat se. You can also work too much. Somebody can warn you. 
aby se neupracoval. Just don't get too tired by working. Unudit se. To get bored to death. U toho filmu jsem se úplně unudila. I got so bored. I got bored to death watching that movie. Upít se. To drink too much. This particular example would be used when you want to say that the person drank so much that they died. Upil se k smrti. To death. You can use it with all of these metaphorically and literally too. Unudit se k smrti, we say that all the time, to get bored to death. So remember, these would be used with the reflexive se, but when they don't have the prefix u, they oftentimes don't work. For example, běhat se does not exist. We have běhat, but not běhat se. Pracovat se also usually doesn't work. Nudit se definitely, we can say nudím se, I'm bored. And pít se does not exist. Unless we talk about um, passive voice, but that's another story. You can watch a video about this topic where I covered this <laughs> a couple of months ago. Okay, our last category talks about something of a small degree, a small degree of action. For example, usmát se. Can you guess what this means? Smart se means to laugh and usmát se is something like laugh a little and it means to smile. Usmát se means to smile. Usmálo se na mě štěstí. We say this when we are lucky and we say luck smiled at me. I got lucky. I gave you this example because it's funny. Uchechtnout se means to giggle a little bit. Like <laughs> uchechtnout se. <laughs> Ale pozor, chechtat se if you want to Imperfective, chechtat se. This means to laugh hard, chechtat se. That's the imperfective form. And uchechtnout se would be just to give a little laugh. Upít, unlike upít se, means just to drink a little, to do this. Jenom jsem trochu upila. I just drank a little bit. And the same way we can say ujíst, ujedla jsem. Ujedl mi stalíře. He ate a little bit from my plate. He stole a little bit of food. So, what do you think about this prefix? It's a very interesting and very complex prefix. Just like every prefix in the Czech language. And it also appears in front of other word classes, not only verbs. And sometimes it would also be changed to U when it's not in front of a verb. When it's, for example, an adjective, it can also be prolonged. It's also the same prefix, but with a different word class. Such as u navní, tiring. But I'm not here to talk about adjectives, only verbs. And this is almost all. One more thing I want to tell you is that the prefixes are very complex as well as the prepositions. Yes. And sometimes the same verb can have different meanings and you need a context to understand it. For example, we saw the verb uplavat. And I told you that it means to be able to swim. Yes, that would be the one category to be capable. But also it means to swim away. You drop something in the river and then it swims away. Uplavalo to. It got away. Although this video is pretty long, I gave you just a sneak peek of these combinations because of course we have a lot more that we could see. So just keep your eyes open, your ears ready. And when you hear something with U and you know it's a verb, you can think about the possibility of what this means. To je ode mě všechno. Už jste uslyšeli úplně všechno. You heard all of it now. A uvidíme se příští týden. And we will see each other next week with another prefix. Krásný den. Ciao ciao.